Noble Plastics was contracted by Geospace Technologies to provide tooling, process development, and automation for an injection molding work cell to produce a series of waterproof connectors requiring a molding of an elastomer over a customer-provided substrate. The result is a system that significantly increases yield and uptime without requiring robot-specific training to operate the cell or when changing between the 24 product variations that may be produced. The molding machine is executed in a vertical, two-station, rotary table configuration, allowing loading of one mold half while another is molding parts. This system utilizes the following technology and features. FS15IA force sensing package, IR Vision 2D guidance, Carol, advanced EIP, EGD, advanced DCS, and intelligent interference check. The automation process consists of six major steps that are illustrated by this RoboGuide simulation. The steps are as follows. Management and introduction of operator-loaded substrates, incoming substrate inspection and preparation, loading of substrates into the mold, unloading of molded product from the mold, final product inspection, dispensing of product from the cell. The cell is designed to be tended by a single operator and conforms to a small footprint to conserve production space. The process begins with the operator loading an accumulation carousel with substrates. The procession of the carousel is controlled by Robot 1, provides the robot with five substrate pick positions between carousel moves, and provides the operator with visual cues as to the status. The green light signals it is safe to interact with the carousel and place parts. The yellow signals that the substrate supply to the robot is low and the carousel will move soon. Blinking red signals that the light curtain surrounding the carousel is obstructed and the parts are unable to travel to the robot, thus putting the cycle time at risk. Solid red signals that the carousel is moving and should not be interrupted. The system accommodates gaps in the loading. Once the part is picked from the carousel, it is placed on an incoming inspection fixture for orientation and inspection. Orientation within a specified angular window and straightening of the wire is in preparation for pickup by Robot 2. All substrates are inspected for proper type, substrate condition, connector location, and correct wire connections. Parts not conforming to specification are discarded in the adjacent reject bin. Robot 2 removes the prepared substrate from the incoming inspection fixture using offset data from the IR vision system and moves to insert the substrate into the injection mold. A lifter bar with the substrate insertion cavity is raised above the mold for access and the robot tracks the position of the lifter bar in real time to adjust the approach and insertion vectors. The robot uses force sensing to guide insertion with diametrical clearances as low as two thousandths of an inch. Each substrate insertion must meet minimum and maximum force criteria, as well as a specified insertion depth window. Substrates that do not successfully insert after a set number of attempts are placed in a reject bin, and the process continues until all four mold cavities are filled. Robot 3 removes molded parts from the mold and presents each part to an outgoing vision inspection system provided by Geospace Technologies. Based on the inspection results, the robot will place the parts individually in either a reject bin, rework bin, or an outgoing conveyor for operator packaging. These bins are easily accessible so that they may be cleared without interrupting production. The system utilizes the HTML-based HMI functionality of the Teach Pendant for the operator interface. The functionality is mirrored on all three Teach Pendants, providing operational control from multiple locations around the cell. If an error occurs, the operator may choose to correct the issue and continue production, or may abort production, in which all robot deposits held parts into a reject location and return to a home position, allowing easy access to the cell. A comprehensive user alarm system gives contextual information for most stoppages or faults. Such error recovery does not require manual jogging of the robot. The system makes use of the intelligent interference check to ensure collision-free recovery motions. Calibration of Robot 2 pick-and-place positions after a tooling change is accomplished with an automated sequence. Following a mold and end-of-arm tooling change, the user installs a simple probe on the end-of-arm tooling, allowing the robot through the force sensing to function like a coordinate measuring machine. The sequence is completed on each mold lower half. In a separate sequence, a substrate is placed in the calibrated mold, after which Robot 2 retrieves the part and places it in the inspection fixture to establish a target orientation used for picking parts. Robots 1 and 3 employ common end-of-arm tooling for all parts and do not require calibration. The system can also be run in a manual mode. In this mode, robots will move to a safe location and provide enough room for an operator to manually run the machine with all operator safety systems in place. 
The production cell is industry 4.0 ready using the advanced Ethernet IP package to provide most internal cell communications as well as bidirectional data communications with plant SCADA systems. Communication with the molding machine is accomplished using a standard Euromap interface to control sequencing and provide a safety interface. This system was installed in July of 2021 at Geospace Technologies Houston location and is currently active.